Well, I'm not really sure about that. What do you mean? I mean, those things really matter. But at the end of the day, it's all about how you get the proper business loan, right? So in today's conversation, what I want to share with you is uh, how to get approved for a large amount with bad or fair credit when it comes to consumers credit union business loan. Okay, how do you get a, a huge consumers credit union business loan with bad or fair credit? Don't go anywhere. If you're interested in today's conversation, and I'm sure you are interested. I'll guarantee it, you're gonna love the content. to another edition of the awesome story the kiwi show how are you today i hope you're all doing fantastic i'm doing marvelous if you ought to ask me if you are doing as great as i am go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll <laughs> in today's conversation i want to speak to you quickly about how to get approved for a consumer credit union consumers credit union business loan for bad or fair credit and a large amount. The first thing you need to do is you need to get your act together. Very important. When we speak about getting a, a loan, a large EIN only business loan from a consumer's, from a credit union, for that matter, you need to be organized, okay? And, we're, and Consumers Credit Union is an excellent credit union for small businesses and startups, especially when it comes to business loans for bad or fair credit, but you've gotta be organized. First of all, you need to have your EIN. I'm not even gonna go in detail here. Everybody understands what it is. EIN stands for Employer Identification Number. You go on the IRS website, you get it. It takes five, 10 minutes tops, and that's all it is, all right? Then you need to incorporate. Uh, please, I want you to drop the sole proprietorship uh, clothing that you currently have with your business. I want you to incorporate. Do you hear that? Incorporate. I don't care if you have a side gig, if you, have, if you are a one man or one woman business, I want you to become a single member ALC or a single member LLP or whatever the legal structure of the comp of a company can be in the state where you live, all right? You can be an S Corp, a C Corp, an LLC, an LP, an LP, whatever it is, but do not remain a sole proprietorship. You also want to take care of business permits and licenses. If you are in an industry where uh, regulators ask for a constellation of uh, permits and licenses, you want to take care of that. You want to abide by laws in the industry where you operate. You also want to set up accounting and internal controls. The reason why I'm telling you all this, guess what? Consumers Credit Union is going to check for those things when, when comes time for the application. So you might as well just take care of it beforehand, okay? So you want to set up accounting and internal controls. You want to think about tax compliance. When I talk about when I talk about tax compliance, I'm speaking about not only income taxes, but also the bevy of taxes you have to take care of at the local and state and county levels, right? The state tax is not really tax you have to pay as a business. It's just a transfer of uh, income that is due to the government. But you got to pay payroll taxes. You have to pay other taxes depending on the industry you're in. I also want you to check your credit scores. Credit scores, check your credit scores at the business level and at the personal level just to make sure that everything is clean, everything is accurate. If there is any issue, you want to dispute it with all the three credit bureaus at the personal level. I'm speaking about uh, Experian. TransUnion and Equifax. At the business level, you want to pay you want to pay attention to what's in your Dunn's record file. So your Dunn and Bradstreet file. Okay. Step number two. So the first thing, or after you took care of uh, your internal uh, stuff, right? You gotta join Consumers Credit Union, and you need to meet with the rep. Now, it's very easy to join Consumers Credit Union. There is no affiliation. There is no uh, military. There is no professional affiliation or geographic affiliation to uh, to fulfill it is open to everybody okay any and if you 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 can simply donate five dollars to the consumers cooperative association very easy and the cool thing here is that uh, application and payments for membership to the consumers credit to the consumers cooperative association can be done at the end of the application process all right so to uh, actually join uh, consumers credit union you got to be uh, 18 years or older you, uh, even though minors can also uh, join, right? So if you're uh, under 17, you can also join. And uh, basically, you need to have a valid, unexpired U.S. government, federal, or state-issued ID that includes a photo 
I'm talking about a driver's license, U.S. passport, or state ID. And uh, for pictures ID not having your current address, you will need to bring additional documentation. For example, two current, not past due, utility bill for utility bills for your current address. Okay. And for non-U.S. citizens, you need to have for Mexicans, for example, for Mexican uh, citizens, for example, you need to bring uh, the Mexican matricula consular ID and your original ITIN letter. ITIN stands for uh, individual tax identification number okay and you, you can also have a u.s permanent alien resident card the green card and your social security number a social security card and you can also have a current utility bills okay a any question you just want to contact consumers credit union ccu they'll uh, walk you through everything okay and uh, also they are asking for additional items for loan applications so you want to have your last two recent pay stubs your two recent years of tax returns either at the personal level your 1040 or at the business level your 1120 or, or 1065 and they want to have also um, five references with complete contact information including addresses and phone numbers they want to have two utility bills for your current home address and uh, and the, the good thing we love with the CCU is they're very organized I mean they really pay attention to the human side of business this is why they're one of the rare one of the rare uh, credit unions that we have reviewed in this show they are asking for uh, that is asking for references personal references just to open a bank account think about that and uh, one thing i also want to say is that if you have any question please you want to contact 1-877-ASK-CCCU 1-877-275-222 one eight seven seven two seven five two 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 eight. Step number three, folks. I hope you are still following me. Are you following me now? Okay. What I'm trying to say here is that first, you need to get your act together. Number two, you need to join Consumers Credit Union and meet with the rep. Okay. And the third thing you need to do is you want to consider banking with Consumers Credit Union. This is very important. Let me ask you, here is a decision time right now. We have a decision time, big decision time right now. Are you currently banking with CCU? Where are you banking? Where are you parking your cash? Talk to me. Talk to me right now. So the, the thing here is that if you are trying to get a large business loan from Consumers Credit Union with bad credit or fair credit, you better bring some of your cash to them too. It has to be a mutually positive and mutually rewarding situation. So I'm, I'm asking you right now to consider parking some of your cash with the CCU. Okay, this is the big decision time right now. So when we talk about Consumers Credit Union, they have uh, several several ways you can bank with them, either through a business uh, business account, business checking accounts. So they have the Freedom Business Checking, they have the Power Business Checking, they have the Choice Commercial Checking. And they have the community check-in. This is for non-for-profit and non-profits. I want you to choose one of those. And uh, preferably, you want to go with the Freedom, uh, the Freedom Business Check-in or the Power Business Check-in account. you got to have that, folks. Don't tell me I didn't tell you. you got to have that. And uh, you also want to explore the kind of business services they have. And one particular service comes to mind that we love with the CCU. It's their merchant card services and uh, this is a department that has been uh, growing for the last five years. They're doing a lot of, they're doing a great job there and they are to be commended. And uh, so basically what has happened is that CCU has partnered with First Data to handle the processing of merchant cash ser car services. And this is the kind of service that allows business owners to accept credit cards. I'm talking Visa, MasterCard, Amex, or Discover, or debit cards for products and or services provided. And this service will allow your business to grow and keep up in today's tech savvy world. So if you are a, a business that needs that kind of service, I would implore you, I would basically beg you right now to sign up with, uh, with CCU, especially if your goal is to get a loan with them. If your goal is to get a business loan with them, you want to do that. This this will be very helpful to you. And they also provide online trans transfers uh, services. So you might want to check that out too. At the end of the day, if you contact um, a rep at the CCU, he or she will walk you through everything you need to understand before start, starting to uh, bank for real with uh, CCU. I want to talk to you now about step number four, and I want you to understand CCU's business loans, okay? Now, you can apply for a loan if you have no idea what the loan is about, right? So I want you to familiarize yourself with the loan. And this is very important because uh, you, you got to understand, 
right off the bat, you are going at a disadvantage because you have bad or fair credit, right? So you have um, you have uh, an adverse scenario to kind of, uh, I would say, to uh, to surmount. Okay, so you want to really get a clear understanding of what the loans are. So with CCU, you have uh, four different types of, of loans. So you have uh, SBA funding programs. So Consumers Credit Union actually uh, participates in the SBA funding program. And they, they, they've been doing this for the last uh, 10, 20 years. I mean, they've been doing it and they've been a trusted lending partner. They also provide commercial mortgages. Okay, so uh, they, they uh, what we love with uh, CCU's mortgages is that they are really they are a generous lender so the loan values all of their mortgages products feature loan values up to 80 percent amortization up to 25 years no prepayment penalty and a competitive rate they also provide secure lines of credit so in terms of if you want the, if you want some capital to bridge the gap between invoice and collection right we're talking here about the chasm the gap that you might have when um, the timing issue when the when you have uh clients who are not paying fast for you to get the cash so you can pay your vendors right so that chasm you can get a, a line of credit from uh, ccu to bridge that they also provide letters of credit issuance guarantee that third parties receive the payments due to them and they have business construction and development loans that support you with on-demand capital to be used on everything from new construction to extensive remodeling and renovation projects they also provide, based on our analysis, what we have. One thing we have seen is that um, they provide also equipment financing arrangements. Okay, and this is where you can actually invest in your business's future without depleting your cash reserves by financing your next equipment. It could be machine machinery, it could be a factory uh, equipment, or even a fixed asset acquisition with a business term loan. One thing I want to see here is that you probably understood that the CCU is pretty, uh, I would say, risk averse. When it comes to business loans so they're trying to collateralize all their loans right it's either secured it's either a mortgage so you would see that it's always collateralized one thing we have seen and we have reached out to ccu under special circumstances ccu can offer unsecured business loans and lines of credit if an applicant has a strong application so you want to ask around for more information and uh, this is what i'm teaching you in this show to make sure that you you solidify your application so that when you go if you're lucky and every, if everything checks out, you can get actually um, an unsecured business loan. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back right after this. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. I'm still talking to you right now about... Uh, Consumers Credit Union business loan, how do you get approved for a large amount with fair or bad credit? And step number five, you need to know Consumers Credit Union's business credit cards. Why do you need to know the business credit cards? Well, you might be thinking, this is a show about getting a business loan. Why am I even talking about business uh, business credit cards? It's because in case you don't qualify. If you don't qualify for a loan, guess what? At least you have option B, you, you know, plan A, uh, plan A is to get the loan. If you don't get it, you go for plan B. And plan B is to understand the types of uh, the typology of business credit card that Consumers Credit Union offers. So they have business visa platinum. OK, and uh, this is a this is a beautiful baby. You can look at it on the screen right now. We love we love the design. We love the color. Very dark, you know, very nice, shiny, dark. And uh, so basically, this is a card that is great because it has no annual fee, no fee cash advances. Additional cards are available for employees at no cost. Individual uh, credit limits available for additional cards. You have a secure online account review and payment options from the CCU site. You have uh, visas at zero liability, which means that you are protected if your card is lost or stolen. You have auto rental insurance on a 24-hour basis for collision or theft damage, which automatically covers up to the actual cash value of most rental vehicles. Okay, so this is pretty good. If you are a business owner, those are things you want to really pay attention to. And uh, what we also love is that you have travel accident insurance coverage of up to half a million at no extra cost when you travel on common air, sea, and ground carriers. What am I trying to say here? This is a car that you need. This is a car that you might need, okay? And if you don't qualify for a loan, well, what? Guess what? You can still check out this card. And uh, the FICO score needed on this card is 560 from 560 all the way to 600. That's the minimum. 
and besides the business platinum uh, the business visa platinum CCU also offers business visa cards now those are um, debit cards so this is basically based on the on the balance on, in your account but it's still good to know okay and what we love here is that uh, if you don't if you don't qualify for the loan if you don't qualify for the uh, the credit card the business visa platinum you still have a chance right to try the business uh, visa card the debit card and then gradually work, work your way into a uh, an unsecured credit card okay so this is but if you have any question please contact 877-275-2228 for more information step number six folks uh here is another decision time big decision time i want you to evaluate your, your funding needs but do you even know your funding needs do you even understand right now how much you need please talk to me talk to me if you don't talk to me, you're going to talk to uh, CCU's uh, loan officer anyway. Do you really know how much you need right now? Is it 10 grand? Is it 20 grand? Is it 200 grand? Is it half a million? Why do you need that money? Do you have an idea? Have you backed it up? Have you done the analysis? Have you worked through all your numbers? This is the kind of analytical journey I want you to do right now. I want you to take right now to know exactly where you're going, to know exactly where you are at in your business, in your business, whether you're profitable or not. And please don't tell me that you are, you believe that you're profitable because, uh, you know, uh, cash is coming in. No, my friend, no, because you could be profitable, but you might run out of cash. There is a, there is a big difference between a cash flows and income. All right. Especially if you're going with, uh, the, uh, through a gap accounting, if you're using cash accounting, no problem. If you're using cash accounting, your income equal to your cash. I mean, your income is is co correlated to your cash flows but if you're doing gap accounting there is uh there is a difference right so you want to evaluate your funding needs before you even apply for a consumer's credit union business loans so how do you do that you got to prepare financial statements i'm not saying you sh you have to do it unless you have a you have some knowledge of accounting but you don't need to have a phd uh, in accounting or having pr have participated in a advanced accounting class no you don't need that. What you need is to have the staff or the expertise around you to generate those financial statements. You, and while you generate your financial statements, you want to pay attention to your cash flow statements. This is where you will see cash flow from operating activities, cash flow from uh, investing activities, and cash flow from financing activities. That way you know whether you, you are running a deficit or a, a, um, an excess. Okay, this is important. A deficit or a surplus. And the way you do this, you, 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 you have to add up all the costs. I'm talking about everything that allows you to run your business. Studying inventory, license and permit fees, payroll, office supplies and equipment, long-term assets. I'm talking here machinery, vehicle, real estate, you name it. Consulting services and web design. Those things are important. And then once you add up your costs, you need to calculate your financial resources, your own money, the business's cash balance, if you have friends or family who want to chip in so you need to do that and then by looking at the deficit so when you add up all the cost and you subtract the cost from uh, the resources that you have then you can identify the the additional cash that you need and this is important step number seven now i want you to apply i want you to apply now i'm going to explain to you step by step i want you to look on the screen right now there are two things to apply for a consumer consumer's credit union business loan there are two things that you need to apply there are two things you need to think about first of all before i forget please always apply at the branch if you have a, the nearest branch around you you apply at a branch if you're not in an area where a consumer's credit union is present you want to do things on the phone but you want to speak to someone first you want to speak to a rep so that he or she can walk you through the whole thing before you even apply online but i'm going to walk you through in today's conversation the two things that you need you need a personal financial statement and you need a business loan application you need to fill out all those two documents okay all these two documents first of all let's start with the personal financial statement as you can see on the screen here the first slides they're asking you for your name you have to you have to put the dates first right personal financial statement as of you have to put your name uh, address phone number uh, employer address business phone number and you have to do the same thing for your uh, co-applicants if any and then you have to put your marital status. Are you single, married, divorced, 
all you have to put the nice stuff there and uh, they want to know if you have established a trust okay whether the trust is revocable or irrevocable we have covered this on our series of uh, estate planning videos so if you want to check that please go into our law catalog of videos and you can read you can you can view everything there and they want to know whether or not you have made a will next they're, they're they want to have more information about your cash income and expenditure statement and you have to put the year all right and they want to have your salary so you have they want to have your annual income and your annual expenditures you can see the the column for income items and the column for expenditures so what you want to do is you want to fill out this epic this the uh, two columns for yourself and, the, and a co-applicant if needed right and then do the same thing for expenditures make sure you are accurate here okay very important and now they want to see uh, your balance sheet so balance sheet is also called a statement of financial position or a statement of financial condition it, it just lists your assets your liabilities and your net worth so when you subtract your liabilities from your assets that's your net worth assets is what you own and liabilities is what you owe your debts your obligations your financial obligations that is okay so you can see they want you to put everything um, um, in, the, in the asset category and in the, in the uh, liabilities category moving on to the next slide here so here they want to see they, they want to add something called contingent liabilities what is contingent liabilities contingent liabilities are things that are not yet your debts but they might become debts you know that the word contingent means it is depending upon something okay so if there is anything you are you are a partaker of if you are part of a lawsuit or something might happen to you if something might just might just screw your life I would say financially speaking you want to you want to include that here okay and the next slides they want to have more information about stocks and bonds that you have uh, participations in your accounts receivable life insurance other assets and, and personal liability okay so this is a very detailed uh, financial statements on the next slides this is called schedule F so this is where you have to put your uh, personal residence and real estate investments schedule H notes payable and on the next slide signature and affirmation section you just sign and date now I want to talk to you about the business loan application this is kind of important too so you can see on the first slide here they want to have your your name they want to have your address all the kind of basic information and uh, they want to ask you do they want to know how much you want to borrow all right now the thing with the business loan application from uh, consumers credit union is that it really varies it can go all the way to a million dollars it depends on the relationship you have established with uh, consumers credit union it's all about relationship folks right did you hear that relationship when it comes to money if you want to get the moolah that moolah that you want to get if you want to get it and you don't have the right pr the proper credit credit score that is you want to establish relationship and so they are talking to you about what, what they say the proposed loan terms you have to put the loan amount that you want the interest rate variable or non-variable the loan term in months or years the business purpose of the loan this is very important they want to know what you what you're planning on doing with the money and here the next slide they are talking about type of collateral this is where as i was telling you earlier consumers credit union want to call wants to collateralize or their loan but under the right circumstances and with the right preparation they can waive this part okay so this is why you want to speak to a representative first as you are walking through the application otherwise if you have um, collateral you want to pledge just go ahead and uh, check the proper the proper uh, box here and uh, that should be it and in terms of payment types they want to know whether you want to do installment payments single payments interest only with the balloon payment all that kind of stuff all this depends not only on your liquidity on your company's liquidity but also on um, the conversation you have with the the loan rep as well as your, your own credit worthiness next slide we are they want to talk about they want to have some information about your company right this is important as i was telling you at the beginning of this show you need to forget about the word sole proprietorship if you're trying to get a large business loan and i don't care whether you have an 800 credit score or you have a 350 it doesn't matter what matters is that companies who want to lend want to lend you let's say lenders want to lenders who want to give you one million dollars in loan they want to make sure they're dealing with the company not with an individual it's still risky for them all right and you have to understand that makes sense they are trying to cover their ass 
very important for them to cover their ass because you know everything can happen you might default on the on the loan and they might be screwed so they don't want that so you need to put there the, the here on the screen right now you need to put the type of organization you have the name the dba doing business as and you need to attach copies of uh, articles of, of organization or articles of uh, of uh, incorporation and the next slides you need to put more information about the business the principal place of of uh, business the guarantor if any and you need to attach your individual financial statements, federal tax returns, and other types of information. And the last slide here, you just have to sign. So this is where you have to sign, you have to print your name and date the whole thing, and that's it. And another uh, slides, the, the third, uh, the second one, okay, you have all the information here. And that's it. All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I was actually quickly talking to you about how to get a large business loan approved from a consumer's credit union with bad or fair credit. So number one, you want to get your act together. Number two, you want to join consumer's credit union and meet with the rep. Number three, you want to bank with consumer's credit union. Number four, you want to understand consumer's credit union's business loans. Number five, you want to know consumer's credit union business credit cards, very important. Number six, you want to evaluate your funding needs. And number seven, last but not the least, you want to apply, but especially you want to make sure you fill out two important documents properly. We're talking about the PFS, your personal financial statements, and your business loan application, your BLA, very important. Good luck, God bless you. I will speak to you another time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.